This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this part, let us see what is uh, center of mass. Okay, and later we'll study its importance. Okay, we shall first see what is center of mass before learning about its importance. So, let for simplicity, let us consider a system which is having only two particles, m1 and m2. As you can see in this particular figure, the particle m1 and the particle m2. And uh, these two are at a distance of x1 and x2 from the origin O. And we shall take the line joining the two particles to be the x-axis. Okay, the line which joins, uh, joins these two particles m1 and m2 is x-axis, isn't it? And uh, we can see here the distances of the two particles be x1 and x2 from the origin. Means uh, the particle m1 is uh, at a distance x1 from the origin O and the particle m2 is at a distance x2 from the origin O. Let m1 and m2 be the masses of the two bodies or the masses of the two particles. Here we are considering the particles. So we can say m1 and m2 masses of the two particles okay the center of mass of the system is that point c this is the center of mass of the system which is at a distance x from o you can see here which is at a distance x from o and uh, this point c is center of mass of the system okay so we can uh, say x is uh, given by m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2 okay Here x can be regarded as the mass weighted mean of x1 and x2. So we here we are considering the mass weighted mean that is x. Okay. If the particles have same mass say m1 is equal to m2. In that case what happens if you consider the particles which are of same mass. In that case x will become what? You can put m1 x1. And uh, since M2 is also equal to M1, we can take it as M2, you know, M1 only. And here also we can consider it as M1 plus M1. So it will become, you can take common here, X1 plus X2 divided by 2M1. So it will become, if M1 is equal to M1, x1 plus x2 by 2 okay thus for two particles of equal mass the center of mass lies exactly between them midway between them isn't it so if we have n particles of masses m1 m2 up to mn if you consider n particles of masses m1 m2 up to mn along a straight line taken as the x-axis 
then we can say by definition the position of center of the mass of the system of particles as if we should extend this this is for two particles you should go and extend that you know extend that particular formula isn't it like m1 x1 plus m2 x2 up to yes it is up to m n x n isn't it and here also m1 plus m2 up to m n so we can write it as sigma m i x i divided by sigma m i okay where x1 x2 xn are the distances of the particles from the origin x is also measured from the same origin the symbol that is sigma it denotes the summation okay in this case it is the summation over n particles we can say sigma m i is equal to m okay suppose that we have three particles not lying in a straight line we may define like x and y axis in the plane in which the particles lie and represent the positions of the three particles by coordinates x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 so if i say you just consider a system where uh, here we have considered two particles which are lying in the same uh, what we can say same line but if you consider the three particles which are not lying in the same line they lie in different plane like one okay okay they lie they do not lie in the same straight line they lie in the x y plane but not in the same straight line Uh, for example you can consider one maybe here one maybe here and one more somewhere here so the positions of these particles maybe they we can represent it here as a, this particle by x1 x2 and this particle as x2 y2 and this particle as x3 y3 you are getting this right let the masses of these three particles be m1 m2 m3 respectively the center of mass c of the system of three particles is defined and it is located by the coordinates x and y in this particular case if they are not lying in the same straight line so in that case the center of mass c is uh, given by c composed it composes x and y and x is given by here we have considered three particles so it is m1 x1 m2 x2 plus m3 x3 okay by m1 plus m2 plus m3 okay and in case of y it is m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 by m1 plus m2 m3 for the particles of equal masses in this case also if we consider m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m3 that case we get x is equal to what yes it will become m we can say m1 m2 m3 equal to mass m we can say since all are equal we get x m plus m plus m that is 3m we get uh, x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 similarly y is equal to what y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 isn't it 
Yes, thus for three particles of equal mass, the center of mass coincides with the centroid of the triangle which is formed by the particles. Okay. So, if we, we can uh, consider these two equations that is uh, x and y. We can write it in another form. Okay, we can generalize the. Now we considered only three particles. If we generalize that uh, equations to n particles, which are not lying in the same plane, but they are distributed in space, we can say. In that case, uh, the center of mass of such a system is uh, given by. It is uh, given by x, y, z coordinates. And the value of x we can represent it as sigma m i x i by m and y is given by sigma m i y i by m and z is uh, given by sigma m i z i by m okay here m is equal to sigma m i capital m is equal to sigma m i is uh, already we saw that isn't it that is uh, the total mass of the system and the index i it uh, runs from 1 to n m i is the mass of the i particle and position of the i particle is given by xi, yi, zi. Okay. We can combine uh, these three equations. What we just saw. We can call it as a, b, c. Okay. We can combine into one equation using the notation of position vectors. Let Ri be the position vector of the i particle and R be the position vector of the center of mass. So, Ri is the position vector of the i particle. We can represent it using xi i cap plus uh, yi j cap plus z i k cap okay and r it is the center of mass position vector of the center of mass we can represent it as uh, x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap Okay, so R will be sigma mi ri divided by capital M. Okay, the sum on the right hand side is a vector sum, isn't it? The economy of expressions we achieve. By using the vectors. If the origin of the frame of reference is chosen to be the center of mass, then we can say sigma mi into ri is equal to 0 for the given system of particles. This, this is possible if the Origin of frame of reference, what we have chosen is equal to is equal to center of mass.
so only if we have considered origin of frame of reference as that of the center of mass then only we can say sigma mi is equal to ri sigma mi ri is equal to zero okay these are the simple expressions for center of mass